Hi, it's Carrie. I've got some amazing animals and a lot of interesting facts today. The African elephant. The largest one is the African savanna. There's a smaller elephant, the African forest elephant, which has slender, downward pointing tusks. The trunk or proboscis of the elephant is one of the most versatile organs to have evolved amongst mammals. This structure is unique to members of the order Proboscidae, which includes the extinct mastodons and mammoths. Anatomically, the trunk is a combination of the upper lip and nose. The nostrils are located at the tip. The proboscis comprises of 16 muscles. Within the trunk is an extremely complex network of radiating and transverse muscle fascicles. At the end of the trunk are flap-like projections enabling it to perform amazingly delicate functions such as picking up a peanut and blowing away the shell. They have two of these extremities and the Asian elephants have one. Pygmy hippopotamus. It is about the size of a domestic pig. The pygmy hippo is less aquatic than its larger relative, although when pursued, it hides in the water. It is native to the forests and swamps of West Africa. The pygmy hippo is reclusive and nocturnal. It is one of only two extant species in the family Hippopotamidae. The bald eagle is actually a sea eagle. It is native to North America. Both sexes are dark brown with a white head and tail. The black panther. This is a general term used to refer to large felines classified in the genus Panthera that are characterized by a coat of black fur or large concentrations of black spots set against a dark background. The term black panther is most frequently applied to black coated leopards in Africa or Asia and jaguars of Central and South America. A certain combination of alleles stimulates the production of large amounts of the dark pigment melanin in the animal's fur and skin. The jaguar is the largest New World member of the cat family. Its preferred habitats are usually swamps and wooded regions, but jaguars also live in scrublands and deserts. The jaguar is virtually extinct in the northern part of its original range and survives in reduced numbers only in remote areas of Central and South America. The largest known population exists in the Amazon rainforest. The jaguar resembles the leopard of Africa and Asia, but the leopard lacks the black center spot in the middle of the rosettes. Jaguars are also larger and more heavily built than leopards. The zebra. They are large, single hoofed ungulates, built for speed and long distance migrations. The male greedy zebra are larger than the females. In the plain zebra and the mountain zebra, the sexes are nearly the same size. Zebras exhibit no other sexual dimorphism which means differences in appearance between males and females, except for the males having spade-shaped canines used in fighting. The teeth of all three species are adapted for grazing. Zebras possess strong upper and lower incisors for cropping grasses and large high crown teeth for processing silicate-rich grasses that wear down molars. The cheetah. They have evolved many adaptions that enhance their ability to sprint. Their legs are proportionally longer than those of other big cats. An elongated spine increases stride length at high speeds. They have unretractable claws, special paw pads for extra traction and a long tail for balance. The King Cheetah. Its coat pattern comes from a rare recessive genetic mutation. Cheetahs live in groups consisting of a mother and her young 
or of coalitions made up of two or three males that are often brothers. Adult males and females rarely meet except to mate. The tiger has adapted to a great variety of environments, from Siberia where it's as cold as minus 40, to the mangrove swamps where temperatures can reach 40 degrees centigrade or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. As the top predator throughout its range, the tiger plays a major role in controlling not only its prey population, but that of other predators such as the leopards, the doll or Asiatic wild dog, and clouded leopard. The readiness of a tigress to mate is announced through vocalisation and scent production. There is no fixed breeding season, though the preponderance of mating appears to occur in winter, with striped cubs being born after a gestation period of more than three months. The lion, the proverbial king of beasts. Historically, they ranged across much of Europe, Asia and Africa, but now they are found mainly in parts of Africa, south of the Sahara. An isolated population of about 650 Asiatic lions constitute a slightly smaller race that lives under strict protection in India's Gaya National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary. Lions proclaim their territory by roaring and by scent marking. Their distinctive roar is generally delivered in the evening before a night's hunting and again before getting up at dawn. Males also proclaim their presence by urinating on bushes, trees or simply on the ground, leaving a pungent scent behind. Defecation and rubbing against bushes leave different scent markings. If prey is abundant, both males and females typically spend 21 to 22 hours a day resting, sleeping or sitting and only hunt for two or three hours a day. The blue-footed booby occurs in the Pacific from Southern California to Northern Peru and on the Galapagos Islands. The leopard. In 1750, the leopard's geographic range spanned nearly the whole of Africa south of the Sahara, occupied parts of North and Northeast Africa and extended from Asia Minor through to Central Asia and India to China and Manchuria. By 2019, the species had lost up to 75% of its former range. The leopard is a solitary animal of the bush and forest and is mainly nocturnal in habit, although it sometimes basks in the sun. It is an agile climber and frequently stores the remains of its kills in the branches of a tree. We must protect animals. Land development, hunting for sport or to protect crops, the pollution of seas and fresh waters and the contamination of cropland have reduced many species, though strong efforts have been made to preserve those threatened with extinction in such refuges where they still live. This is often done by having nature reserves where the animals and bird life are protected. Please subscribe and like. Thank you for watching my video. Please share with your friends. See you again soon.